This video is an introduction to using the real-time clock, or RTC, and deep sleep mode with a NodeMCU and MicroPython. Follow along with our guide posted in the description below this video. The components you need to follow along are laid out here. A NodeMCU flashed with MicroPython, a breadboard, two 6mm push buttons, an LED, a resistor in the range of 46 to 100 ohms, seven jumper wires, a micro USB cable, and optionally a USB multimeter to take measurements. To get started, create a 3.3 volt rail by connecting a jumper wire from one of the pins labeled 3v3 on the node MCU to one of the breadboard rails. Then create the ground rail by connecting one of the pins labeled GND to the other rail. Next, connect the LED to GPIO5, or D1, using the resistor. Place your two push buttons on the breadboard so that they bridge the dividing gap. Connect one side of each of these push buttons to the ground rail. Connect the other side of one of these buttons to GPIO4, D2, and the other side of the other button to GPIO14, D5. Lastly, connect one end of a jumper wire to GPIO16, D0, and the other end of the jumper wire to an empty breadboard row. Connect the Node MCU to your computer using a USB cable. Again, the USB multimeter in the frame is optional and is only being used to show measurements for demonstration purposes. A RTC, or real-time clock, is a circuit that keeps track of real-world time. This is years, months, days, hours, seconds. It achieves this through the use of a crystal oscillator. The ESP8266 has an RTC built in. Let's initialize the RTC. Start by acquiring a MicroPython REPL in Thani by pressing the stop button at the top of the window. Next, enter the following code into the Thani editor. You can find this code in our guide linked in this video's description. This code initializes the RTC and sets the date to 2 p.m. on the 19th of February, 2020. The datetime function that we are calling takes one tuple parameter. The order of the elements in this tuple are year, month, day, day of the week, hour, minute, second, and millisecond. Notice that we set the day of the week to zero, even though this date is a Wednesday. The day of the week is automatically calculated from the other parameters, so zero can be entered as a placeholder. Save this code to your NodeMCU as main.py, then press the restart button to run it. The RTC's current time can be checked by calling the datetime function with no parameters. Call this function on the RTC object through the use of the REPL. After calling this function and getting the result, you will see that the fourth parameter, the day of the week, is now set to a two, which is a Wednesday. Weekdays are indexed at zero and start on a Monday, so this makes sense. The last three parameters, minute, second, and millisecond, have started counting up. In my case, they indicate that I have called this function four minutes, 33 seconds, and 99 milliseconds after setting the RTC time initially. This also indicates that I do not record these videos in one take. Let's switch for a moment to the topic of deep sleep mode. Deep sleep is one of the several power saving modes that the ESP8266 has. It is useful if you plan on running your device for a long time off of a finite source like a battery. In this mode, the only part of the ESP8266 that requires power is the RTC. This drastically reduces the power consumption of the device. Clear out your main.py file and replace it with a simple import of the machine module. Save this new main.py file to your device, then press the restart button. Before we put the device in deep sleep mode, take note of the amount of current draw that the multimeter is measuring. Right now, in normal operating mode, it is drawing about 82 milliamps. Now in the REPL, call machine.deepsleep to put the ESP8266 in deep sleep mode. Notice how much the current draw has dropped. It is now at about 9 milliamps. 
This means that with this setup, deep sleep mode reduced the power consumption of the device by almost 10 times. Also, notice that the REPL prompt has disappeared. This is due to the ESP8266 in deep sleep mode not being available to take commands. We have now learned how to enter deep sleep mode. But at this point, deep sleep mode doesn't seem very useful if the device can no longer be used. This is where the RTC's interrupt and alarm comes in. Just like with the GPIO pins in the previous interrupts guide, the RTC also has an IRQ that can be set. The IRQ initialization has a wake parameter. This parameter indicates what state the device should wake from. We, of course, want to wake the device from deep sleep mode, so it is set to machine.deepsleep. The other parameter, trigger, is the condition that will cause the device to wake. This we set to rtc.alarm0. Alarm0 is a special trigger that must also be initialized. To initialize alarm0, the alarm function is called from the RTC object. The first parameter is the alarm to be set, which is rtc.alarm0. The second parameter is the amount of time from the present time that the alarm should be set for in milliseconds. We'll set this to 5000 milliseconds. Let's write a program that uses these two code snippets to exit deep sleep mode. Before doing anything else, press the restart button on the Node MCU to manually exit deep sleep mode. If you do not do this, the Node MCU will not accept your new code. The following program will use a lot of concepts from past guides, notably debouncing buttons, IRQs, and callbacks. If you find that you are not following this program, I encourage you to check out our previous guides and videos on programming a Node MCU with MicroPython. As always, you can find the full code for this program in the guide linked in the description of this video. Copy this code into your Thani editor. This program does the following. First, it initializes the LED on GPIO5 as an output. Then it initializes two buttons, one on GPIO4 and one on GPIO14, both as inputs with pull-up resistors. Then the RTC is initialized with an IRQ trigger on alarm zero to wake the ESP8266 from deep sleep. Then we define two callback functions. The first callback function is attached to GPIO4. When the button on GPIO4 is pressed, the RTC's date time will be set to 2.19.2020 at 2 p.m. The second callback function is attached to GPIO14. When the button attached to GPIO14 is pressed, alarm zero is set to 5,000 milliseconds and the ESP8266 enters deep sleep mode. Lastly, on every restart, the RTC's current time is printed to the REPL, and as long as the program is not in deep sleep mode, an LED will blink on a timer every second. Save this program to your Node MCU as main.py, then press the restart button on initial time to run the program. Connect the other end of the jumper wire that is connected to GPIO 16 to the pin on the Node MCU labeled RST. This will allow the alarm to reset the ESP8266. To test your program, press the bottom button to set the RTC to the defined date and the top button to enter deep sleep mode for five seconds. Pay attention to how the current draw changes between normal mode and deep sleep mode. And also pay attention to how the date time keeps ticking up even across resets and being in deep sleep mode. This concludes the video. If you found it helpful, you can find more of our guides on this YouTube channel and on micronote.tech. Thanks for watching.